Lorna joins us now as part of Mental Health Awareness Week and thanks for coming into the studio. You're doing your thank warm-ups you. there. Yeah. yeah, thank you for inviting me in and thank you for your interest in this way people can be well mm. and being positive about mental health. Just explain how you got into this. Um, so I was working in a very stressful job, so 20 years ago, didn't really know how to look after myself in London, busy as people are, and I started getting physical pain, and that then led me into, and I didn't, used to feel great, and then that then led me into yoga and being well, and then sort of changing my life quite a lot around that and having awareness to that, and I knew doing yoga made me feel good. But I, I needed to know the science behind that so I could then let other people know about that. Mm. So I've now trained as a psychotherapist for the last 10 years and I'm now able to talk to scientists, psychologists and medics and train them all over the country around the science of yoga. But actually, it's not just yoga, it's movement. So when we move, go for a walk, go for a run, do your burpees, mm. we, our brain creates a chemical called serotonin. Mm. In antidepressants, they are chemical serotonin. So when we are creating natural serotonin and I'd encourage people to Google ways to increase their natural serotonin. Give us a few examples. What, what ways might that be? OK, so um, with exercise, mm. yoga is great for the breath, mm. burpees, running, other ways for serotonin, food, mm. salmon, walnuts, being with company, having eye contact, laughing, um, being with friends, having some intimacy with people um, and it can be different for different people what people are going to like my focus is on getting the heart rate up and if you're feeling really rubbish the last thing you want to do is go to the gym mm. but if you can just go for a walk for 10 minutes and start mm. and you know you were saying there Anna about how you feel good after exercise oh, it, I just honestly yeah I had a horrible day yesterday horrible I just, mm -hmm. I just I did not I wasn't at the races I just one thing and another it was just not a good day and that physical depressed feeling like a low feeling is horrible and yeah. I thought oh god the last thing I'm going to be bothered with is, is, is exercise I came away and genuinely genuinely felt completely different Brilliant. after I'd done you after did I'd, your my Work burpees. <laughs> yes. Did you burpees? Yeah. Well, I did burpees and frog jumps and squat mm. thrusts and all sorts of things. Cleared it all out. And it just, it just does something. There, you know, it's physical. It's not just a kind of pie in the sky thing. It's, it's serotonin. It you, is you serotonin. Are, you, it, so, uh, if I'd encourage people to use that word, that you're actually creating serotonin. Yeah, it's yeah? science, isn't it? it? It's science. So, um, with neuroscience now, we can actually prove that, and there's mm. lots of research. So, whether it's doing burpees, playing pool, doing zumba, swimming, yoga, and super positive. And like you say, with depression, it's a heavier energy. So we need to do something up. And often with anxiety, so anxiety is higher. It's a fear of something from this moment to the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, with that fear, we need to move that energy as well. So often at the RVI, people show up every day thinking they're having a heart attack. And actually, it's anxiety. And often doctors have said to my clients, you need to start running. Mm. You need to go and burn that energy off so you can then come back to a calm place, a window where we feel OK. There's the thing sometimes for people, and, and, and I, do, I, I mean, genuinely, I actually don't really suffer for, from depression, you know, but I know that there are some people that have proper depression. And one of the things that they find is that they get this feeling that they can't move. And, and they can't get so it's almost it's counterintuitive they don't want to move they can't move mm -hmm. so it's really you have sort of got to you have got to almost force yourself to do it absolutely because because it long term it will make you feel better it, and it is long term so it's a drip 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 yeah and of course people there's medication as well and i have to encourage people if you're not feeling great to go and talk to your doctor mm -hmm. yeah because it's always triggered there's something going on that at any time of the month, when you look at the symptoms for depression, anxiety, we can oh, have a bad day, right? Mm -hmm. When it's sunny, we have a good day, mm -hmm. right? But stuff happens. And it's something that's making us stuck there, whether it's the bad boss, whether it's an unhappy relationship, whatever it is, it's something that's making us stuck there. But there are ways that you can deal with it. Yeah, and I, ha and I encourage people to go to therapy, ask your GP for to see a therapist. If there's mm -hmm. waiting lists... Um, look for an accredited therapist online. There's loads of great therapists in Newcastle. Um, and there's positive ways of dealing with it. And exercise and the body is super important. And coming back to the breath as well. 
Just with the yoga thing, Alf, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would think, oh, is it for fancy schmancy people mm -hmm. in, you know, posh leggings who are going out and eating hummus and, you yeah. know, all reading The Guardian. Yeah. I think a lot of people think of yoga as that. Yeah, and I agree. It is like that in the media. And I know with my work, I, I don't do use any pictures like that and make it really accessible. You don't sound like a hippie. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't. Well, I'm a scientist. That's, well, that's refreshing. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's refreshing that we hear a scientist and a yoga teacher who sounds like you. And, and you need to find a good teacher, someone who is grounded, someone who you like and you can relate to and is maybe funny. Yeah. You know, and, and can bring it into the work. I do work, work with Mind. I do work with the Recovery College yeah. in Newcastle, which is a brilliant place. Um, and it's just normal people, and we're just moving, right? We're, we're just moving. We'll be chatting to you again. Definitely. Thanks, Lorna. That was really interesting, really good. That was a psychotherapist, a yoga instructor, Lorna Evans, if you...